I am Zofia Buiter from Pazman Peter Katolik University from Hungary. Our research project is the mathematical modeling of the cell cycle and circadian rhythm after DNA damage. Our motivation for choosing this research project was that in the most of the cancer treatments, DNA damage is induced to eliminate the highly proliferative cells. Unfortunately, it affects also on the healthy cells, but it depends where they are in their cell cycle at the time of the treatment. DNA damage affects directly and indirectly through the circadian rhythm on the cell cycle. There is a new type of uh, therapy called chronotherapy, where the doctors try to fit the time of the treatment to the patient's body clock. As we can see on the picture, the different type of drugs are the most effective at different time of the day. So by choosing the best time for the given treatment for the given patient, the effectiveness uh, can be increased and the side effect can be decreased uh, of the treatment uh, in the future. So the circadian rhythm has a really important role. Our model contains the basis of the circadian rhythm. Uh, FRQ uh, molecule in Neurospora carassa inhibits its own transcription factor called VCC. This causes this transcriptional delayed negative feedback loop. VCC uh, increases the concentration of STK29, which is homologue with the, V1, uh, with the mammalian V1 molecule. It uh, delays the cell cycle uh, before mitosis, so it has a really important role. Furthermore, DNA damage response activates the PRD4 protein, which stops the cell cycle directly, and by the activation of uh, degradation of FRQ proteins, uh, it affects um, through the circadian rhythm indirectly on the cell cycle as well. I plotted the simulations of the main molecular components. On the first picture, we can see the simulation of the circadian molecules mm, during the subjective uh, night and day. It shows a periodic behavior. Uh, I plotted the simulation of the cell cycle components without any connection to the circadian rhythm. We can see that one cell cycle takes about three hours at every time of the day. When circadian rhythm effects on the cell cycle, we can see that it's not right. So, for example, in the middle of the day, where VCC is in high concentration, it increases the concentration of STK29 active, which uh, uh, stops the cell cycle. So that's why uh, that in the middle of the day, when cell, cell cycle takes longer. So the reason of this dif the, the reason of these different durations is the the circadian is that the circadian rhythm effects on the cell cycle. We wanted to analyze the effect of the DNA damage on the cell cycle by phase response curve in long term. What does this mean? I wanted to explain this um, by a simulation. So I plotted uh, the normal simulation by black color. Uh, I did a perturbation at 20 hours and uh, I plotted the disturbed system by blue color. We can see that after the perturbation, uh, there is a transient, and after it, the time period of the cell cycle is again the same, but the, the, the phase is different uh, in these two systems. So phase response curve means this one, that according to the time of the perturbation, we plot this phase shift. So uh, during the subjective night, uh, there is only a small phase shift, but in the subjective day, it can uh, cause a more hours phase shift. Mm, I um, analyzed this uh, especially at 6 and 16 hours. Furthermore, at um, clock-dependent expression of PRD4, mm, the total concentration of PRD4 active is different at a different time of the perturbation. It reflects to the uh, different strengths of the effect. We analyze the um, behavior of the cell cycle by counting the nuclei in mitosis. On the first picture, we can see the simulation 
Um, where there were only a few uh, nuclei in mitosis in the middle of the days. Other part of the days, uh, it was almost the same. The reason of this is that the circadian rhythm effect is stronger on the cell cycle, as I mentioned in the, at the beginning. Um, then there was a perturbation of DNA damage at DD6. It didn't cause any big uh, change in the system. Although when the perturbation upon DNA damage was at DD16, it caused a big change. Immediately after the perturbation, the um, rhythmicity of the cell cycle was temporarily cancelled, and in long term, there is a big phase shift. So the conclusion of our project is that based on that, that our model contains the connections between the DNA damage response, the circadian rhythm, and the cell cycle, especially the, the clock-dependent DDR and the direct and indirect effect of the DDR on the cell cycle, we can do a system-level prediction of the cell cycle, which depends on the timing of the induced DNA damage. So hopefully, it can be used for human chronotherapy in the future. I would like to say thank you for my uh, research group and our collaborators, and thank you for your attention.